Nope. There we go. Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free? And then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amazing. This week's video is going to be fun, short and easy. It's all about adding that extra flair to your PowerPoint slide. It's true, we see a lot of PowerPoint slides with pictures in them, but how many of those slides were memorable? How many of them complemented your theme? How many of them looked awesome? Not many. But not to worry, because today I'm going to teach you this neat trick to get a paint splatter effect for your PowerPoint slides, similar to what you're seeing right in front of you here. Now, if you don't think that paint splatters are for you, that's fine. Just pay attention to how I do things here rather than what I'm doing. And then you can look for a shape that best suits your needs. Anyway, let's get on with this one. Step one, install the required font. All right, guys, the first thing I want you to do is go to a website called fontsquirrel.com. Why this website? Because the team behind Font Squirrel are actually listing fonts that are free for commercial use. It is awesome. Thank you so much to the team behind Font Squirrel. You guys are doing everyone a huge favor. So, when you're on this website, search for a font called WC Rezus or Rezus or whatever. And as you can see, it's not really a typeface, it's more of a collection of different paint splatters, which is exactly what you want, right? You're going to click on download OTF, and then you're just gonna click on it, and you're going to have two of these .otf files. You're going to install them. Now, before hitting the install button here, just make sure you don't have PowerPoint active, right? Because when you install a new font, PowerPoint has to be closed so it can register that font and then you can open it later. So hit the install button. I already have it installed, but I'm just gonna replace the font anyway, just to show you guys, just press yes. And when it's done installing, you know, it'll, the, the install button will be grayed out. You can just close that and be sure to install both fonts here. So I'm just gonna click on install, yes, yes. Cool, okay, and that is the font installed. Step two, find your picture. We need high quality stock photos and we need them for free. So that's exactly why I love websites like visualhunt.com. Go to visualhunt.com and search for whatever term you're looking for. I'm gonna search for business, something super general. Under license type, make sure you click on something called commercial use. This ensures that you can use the photo for any commercial uh, use documents or presentations like pitch decks or whatever. Just make sure that you're doing it. Um, now I'm just gonna search for a photo that will best suit my needs. So I used this photo over here before, the one of the night scrape is very beautiful. I wanna use this one now. I think that would better suit my presentation for whatever reason. So I'm just gonna click on this and then I'm gonna click on download for free. So I'm gonna select the last option and I'm gonna click on download. Now just be aware of something. You don't really need the biggest uh, image size. You don't really need it at all. I'm just making sure that my image won't be pixelated in my PowerPoint slide. Uh, just be aware that the bigger your images are, the bigger your PowerPoint presentation file will be. All right, just making that clear. Step three, set up the slide. So assuming that we have a blank slide right in front of us, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna add the information to the slide. Now that information could be anything you want. I'm not gonna restrict it. So go to insert, go to text box, and just make a big box like this. Uh, to save time, I'm just gonna put in random text like I always do. So I'm just gonna right click here and I'm gonna click on the keep text only part just to show you the formatting down the line, right? Uh, let's just put uh, amazing title goes here and let's just change the, uh, let's just change it all actually to size 14 font, okay? Uh, I'm gonna reduce the size of this just a bit so we can take advantage of the white space a bit more as it goes down. No, that's a bit too much. And I'm gonna change the uh, font of the title to my favorite font, which is uh, Panton Black Caps. And I'm just gonna make sure it's the same color as the rest of my theme over here. 
And now I'm just going to highlight everything and justify the text. And I'm going to move the box just a little downward over here. All right, that is perfect. Once you have the general layout of your slide, what you want to do now is create a new slide and delete everything on it. And I mean everything, title, subtitle, whatever. This is going to be your formatting slide. This is the slide you're going to use to format your picture. Drag and drop your picture that you downloaded from visualhunt.com into here, okay? And uh, make sure it just takes over your entire slide. Like I'm gonna do over here. And I'm just gonna bring this up a bit actually. And I'm just going to let that sink. Yeah, that's fine. I think this is fine. Okay, cool. Step four, make your custom shape. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new slide, which is also blank. And we're going to go to insert text box and just make a large text box like this. Set the font size to around 150 and change the font to the font that we installed in the first step, which is WC Resus or whatever. Now it's just the fun part. Press random keys until you find something that you really, really like. So I'm going to go to A. No, I don't like A. What about B? Nah, C. Nope. D. Nope. P. Nope. T. Y. J. M. N. I like N. N is nice. I like N. So I think I'm going to stick to N, okay? So what am I gonna do now? Well, when you have the paint splatter that you'd like, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to insert shapes and then just draw out a rectangle that will completely cover it, all right? Right click it and click on send to back. With the rectangle selected, click on the text box with the paint splatter, go to format, go to merge shapes and then click on intersect. And what you're going to see now is you're going to see a completely customizable paint splatter that you can resize, you can add outlines to, that you can rotate any way you'd like, whatever. And that's step four done. Step five, attach the custom shape to the picture. All right guys, we now have a customizable shape and remember, it's no longer a text box. It cannot be edited by just slamming things on the keyboard anymore. It's now a shape that can be completely edited however you'd like it to be edited. Copy it and paste it into your big picture slide that you made earlier. Resize and rotate this according to how you'd like to capture the picture. What I mean by this? Well, the colored part of this object, the color part of this paint splatter, whatever it's currently overlapping will be captured inside. So if for example, let's say that this skyscraper slash tower slash whatever you wanna call it, let's say that I want that to be captured. I have to move my object in such a way and rotate it in such a way so that it cap it is sorry it is captured by this tower so this for example i like i like this yeah this this looks fine now deselect everything click on the picture first hold control then click on the paint splatter object thing you're going to see two buttons here you're going to see drawing tools format and you're going to see picture tools format go to drawing tools format the one on the left that's very important click on merge shapes and then click on intersect. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is literally that easy. Step six, add the picture to your slide and fine tune. So when you're happy, just copy the image and just paste it into your main slide. And just resize all the elements in your slide until you get something that you're satisfied with. So for example, let's say I have this over here. So I can just stretch this out just a bit more and just move that to the left side a bit like so. And I think when I start to move this up a bit more and move this just a little bit lower and increase the size here and take advantage of the white space just a little bit more like so, I think that that looks absolutely great. And what do you think guys? What do you think? I think that looks fantastic. And I think that you guys can make something even better. I taught you this technique because it is an awesome technique to keep with you. Take advantage of it and be sure to impress everyone with it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do like, do comment, do share, and do subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.